Today on Rift Spirits and Gear, I show you a $10 hack for glow in the dark side markers. When my band Dragged Under recently went on tour, I brought along a couple of my custom made Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray RS guitars. Now these are incredible guitars. They hold their tune, they take a beating, they do everything I need them to do. But what I quickly discovered is that on the occasion that I played a really, really dark stage, the black side markers on this roasted maple neck were nearly impossible to see. Now, before you come at me and leave a comment on this video saying, real guitar players don't need to see the frets ever. Shut up. I don't want to hear that because that's not true. Moving on. Now, this isn't the fault of Music Man. This is my fault. I specced out this guitar. I didn't even think about the side markers and how I would be able to see them under little to no lighting. Uh, as opposed to something with like a white binding and a black dot or something on the side of the neck. Because when I am playing, I am looking at the side markers. I am not looking at the fretboard, in, at the top of the fretboard in any way, shape or form. I don't look over it, I look to the side. And the dots tell me where I'm at at any given time. And if I'm doing a background vocal or something like that, like I do in Dragged Under, I need to look down real quick to see where I need to slide all the way up the neck. I need to see these dots. Now I asked around and the consensus for this issue in the professional touring world and some of the techs that I know, they generally use strips of glow in the dark gaff tape or they use something like a, a sticker or some kind of a star or something, something that sticks onto the side of the neck and they just simply replace those stickers regularly. And that didn't really work for me. So after about a week of searching, I found this stuff called Glow On. Now, Glow On is a phosphorescent glue, if you will, typically and meant for use on the tips of a gun sight to help you see where your gun sight is and to illuminate the little spaces that were the little dots on a typical gun sight. Now, in its normal state, it doesn't look like anything special, but if you charge it with a flashlight, you will see that it quickly just starts, it just starts going nuts. See that? That's, it's glowing. That's crazy. Now, a small container of this stuff is just under $10 on Amazon, and it comes with what is a really big toothpick for applications, and you're off to the races. So I thought, you know what, for 10 bucks, I'll take that gamble. Now, after cleaning the neck, I simply dabbed just a tiny bit on the fret marker itself on the side of the neck. So they're not really obtrusive or anything like that, but it came out pretty nice. So I can now take a flashlight and I can charge the glow in the dark fret markers that I now have that are just like charging uh, lumen lays, for example. And I now have glow in the dark fret markers. Pretty cool. Now something that I have also done, once these were fully dried, I took a little bit of clear nail polish and just gave a little single brush over them to protect them so they don't wear off as my hand moves up and down the neck over time. Now, even if they do happen to wear off, which I highly doubt they will, I can easily just reapply them because I have a ton of the glow on material. Now I will link down below in the description if you would like to get some of this stuff yourself, but I thought this was very, very handy. It was a cheap fix and it looks really cool to be able to charge up the side of your neck. And when they are not glow in the dark, they are kind of a uh, off white, greenish white kind of a thing. So they do, um, make the fret markers more visible even when they're not glowing in the dark. Pretty useful and cheap. And I like that combination of things. All the pickup links down below in the description. You've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Wow, another video gone by. Hope it was pretty good. I mean, it's probably pretty good. But if it wasn't, pfft.
<laughs> Ugh. Awkward, right? Pshh. 